Tonight is a landmark night for me and Clark because Cody right now is at her friend's for a baby shower. She's going to be there until late this evening. I just got home from work, but tonight is going to be the first night that I'm home alone with little Clark man. Here he is right now. He's still in his car seat, just came home. He was kind of crashed out there a little bit. But uh, I figure I'm going to take you through the whole evening tonight. We'll make a vlog, make this kind of a fun thing. So right now I just got home and I think somebody is waiting out here to come in because you want your dinner, don't you? You want dinner? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I'm going to show you guys what it's like when Ross eats her dinner. This is crazy. You'll have to see it. Here we go. She gets two scoops. There's one. And there's two. Want your dinner? There you go. This dog will eat like she's never eaten before. She's starving to death, but that's not the case. So, let's have some fun tonight. It's gonna be an interesting time with me and little Clark man. Now that Rox is fed, we gotta tend the little baby man here. You ready to come out of there? You ready to come out? You're going to sleep, aren't you? Jeez, I'm almost thinking maybe I should leave you in there. Hey, hey, nope. Okay, let's come on out of there, buddy boy. Apparently I can't do this one-handed, so I'll be right back. Who's getting a diaper change? Okay, you're all fresh now, huh? Yeah, I miss you too, Bear Bear. Good girl. Jeez Louise. All right, let's get your pants on. We're moving right along here. Take care of this stuff. Clark Man's in his swing right now, so he's content. So that gives me some time to get some other things done. Put this out here. Now that everyone's all squared away, I'll tell you what my plans are for tonight. I'm actually hoping tonight's a fairly boring night with no real excitement. I plan to first change my clothes, get into some comfortable clothes. Then I'm going to fire up the oven, make some pizza, maybe watch a movie. Another thing I have here that I want to get set up, pick this up, PlayStation 4. I got a good deal on this, and I need to get this set up. There's uh, some free games that I can pick up online in the month of February, so I need to get that taken care of. So I may do that tonight, maybe watch a movie, something along those lines, but uh, we're just basically going to hold down the fort until Cody gets back home. Well, I was going to make the pizza now, but I guess there's somebody that needs some tending to here. What's wrong, little man? What's wrong? You hungry? Is he hungry, Bear? Yeah, let's get you some food. Back to the kitchen again. Let's make some Similac. So this is what we use to feed Clark. We got the Similac Advance. And we got all these bottles and stuff over here. So you take one of these and one of these. If you've never done this before. And then we uh, put uh, a couple scoops in there, two and a half scoops, and then you fill out five ounces of water and you got yourself some dinner for him. I'm coming, little man. I'm coming. We're gonna get you fed. Hold on. You see, a little bit of milk makes everything better. That's all he wants. Happy baby. And there's the bear cub. I'll use this time to tell you about an experience that I had yesterday at, uh, at Kmart. I was picking up some diapers. So I had two things of diapers in my hands and some wipes. And that's officially when I felt old. There was this kid in front of me. He was wearing a local college sweatshirt. And he was buying an album, like a CD. And he was buying uh, some like frappuccinos from Starbucks, like a little four pack of the glass bottles. And I was standing there buying diapers and I was like, you know what? I'm officially old now. That was, that was me at one point and now this is me. I'm standing here with two packs of diapers and some wipes. I guess that's how life changes and you're 30, so. Hold on, hold on, you, gotta, you, you need to take your time, bud. He's crazy, you're crazy. He's crazy, isn't he, Bear? We got a happy camper on our hands. He did about four ounces and he's now crashed out. So I'm gonna sit with him here for a little bit just to put him into a full sleep. Dang it, I had him fully asleep and he woke up when I transferred him over to his swing. But uh, he's fairly content now, so I'll just leave him in there for the time being. A little big yawn there for the big baby. Now, almost an hour later, I finally get back to my pizza. Here's what I'm having tonight. This is Elio's pepperoni pizza. Now I have to say, this pizza really isn't that great, but what's good about it, it's like $3 for the box. And it's just, I, I think it's pretty good pizza. I don't think many other people like it. Cody doesn't like it. So I thought tonight would be a good night to have this. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm waiting for the oven to preheat and then I'm going to have some pizza. And I think I hear Clark crying again. So I'm going to go check on him. <laughs> Little dude, what's going on? What's wrong? You all right? You don't, you want to be held, don't you? All right, I'll hold you again until my pizza is ready to go in. Well, I found out why he's crying. 
Looks like he's peed through his pants, which is just great. So back to the changing table again. We've already been here once tonight, little man. Now we gotta change your whole outfit. There we go, all fixed up. Got himself a new outfit with a little fox on it and little fox feet. Man, at this point, I am really getting hungry. I know you're not, you just got fed. My oven's only at 231 degrees. Oh, it's almost seven o'clock. Man, taking care of babies is not easy work. No, it's not. You're a lot of work. You're not gonna believe this. I just put Clark back in his swing. Literally just spit up all over his outfit. I just put him in. We are not having a good night, my friend. We are not having a good night at all. Well, that was a short-lived outfit. One lesson I did learn from this was make sure you leave a bib on him for quite a while after he eats. Right now, he seems to be fine. I don't even have any pants on him right now, but we're going to get him all fixed up. I just want to make sure he's good to go right now. I don't even know what to say about this. He spit up on himself when I put him in there. Is that going to be it for you throwing up? <laughs> you know, I started this video with all these big plans on what I was going to do tonight. But the reality is, I'm going to be lucky to even have dinner. It's like 7.30 right now. I'm just kind of peasing him down a little bit right now. He's on his third or fourth outfit. And I, as you can see, have the bib on him permanently. So if he spits up again, it's going to be no problems. I'm not really sure why he's spitting up so much. He's really fussy right now. So I'm not sure what the deal is, but it's just my luck. This is all I really wanted all night. Finally asleep. No spit up on him. So, finally, at 7.37, I can come out into the kitchen. I actually put my pizza back in the oven for just a minute to warm it up, because it's been ready for a while. And I think that's the timer going on. There you have it, a meal fit for a king, and to wash it down, some code red. I'm probably not going to be able to get into a movie tonight, but while I eat, I'm watching this movie right here. This is Star Trek, and it's on TV right now. This is the new rebooted one. So that's on, and that's what I'm going to watch while I chow down on some delicious pizza. Well, I pretty much dominated that pizza. I'm pretty sure this is meant for an entire family, but I ate all but two slices, and I'm starting to feel it right now. I think I was just so hungry that I just got out of control, and now it's like, oh, but... I gotta clean this up uh, while Clark Mann's still asleep, and then I can move on to my next thing. I just saw something on the refrigerator that I probably should have read a little bit earlier. Look at this note from Cody. It says, I gave Roxy dinner. Give her half scoop. Well, you saw earlier in this video that I gave her two scoops, and she didn't say that she already ate, so it's not my fault. I, I guess I should have looked at that first, but uh, basically Rox had double dinner tonight. I didn't even get the kitchen cleaned up, and Clark is crying again. Let's go see what's going on in here. Clark, bud, what's going on, buddy? You were supposed to be sleeping. What happened? Oh, well, at least I got some dinner in me. And we're back to the couch again. Got him calmed down. Found his pacifier. That's all he wanted. He likes to be held. I just got a call from Cody. She's on her way home. So I'm very happy about that. And he just spit up again. I was just feeding him and he spit up again. So this has been quite the night here. I really anticipated this going a whole nother way, but I guess this is parenthood. You really can't make plans to do anything other than to take care of the baby and hopefully get something neat, which I was able to accomplish tonight. But the PlayStation 4 sits there unopened. Didn't really get to watch too much of a movie. Just been kind of sitting here and taking care of him. And uh, I guess that's what's really important is is uh, taking care of the babe. So thanks for watching this uh, crazy vlog. I don't know what this video is going to turn into, but uh, I do appreciate you watching.